Today's webinar topic is joining EIT on campus in Australia. If you guys are not aware, we actually do have campuses in Australia, Melbourne, and in Perth. So we're just going to go over the common questions or FAQs. Uh, so everyone who has registered for the webinar will be able to get a copy of the slides as well as the recordings. They will be emailed to you uh, within two business days. So if you could please just check your junk spam and promotional folders for those details, they will be sent after the webinar. So a little bit more about EIT. So EIT is an engineering specialist. We offer our courses uh, credited by the Australian government. Uh, so we specialize in engineering, one of the only few in institutions in the world to actually specialize in engineering. We offer industry-oriented programs. So we keep abreast with the industry standards, uh, what people are looking for, how the market is moving. And we look at those courses and we put them on our schedule in order to deliver them to people around the world. So we are a world-class Australian accredited education provider. Depending on the courses that you would like to study with us, we offer all the way from a three-month short course that is a professional certificate of competency. Uh, and then we also have our undergraduate certificate, advanced diplomas, uh, bachelor's degree, graduate certificates, graduate diplomas. We also do offer a master's and the doctor of engineering. And depending on where you'd like to study, uh, the HE courses, bachelor's, master's can absolutely be studied on campus as well as the doctor of engineering. Now we have industry oriented lecturers, the experienced lecturers in their field. They have worked in the field and are now teaching. They also still keep uh, with the industry expertise and they're able to translate what they have learned on the field uh, into the lessons and the classes that they hold for our students. So depending on how you study with us, you can even meet our lectures on campus or you can actually have them uh, train you and lecture you online. Now we deliver our courses in a very unique module, a model rather. Uh, so if you're an online student, then you're well aware that we offer labs and remote uh, lab systems. It's where you're able to do your practical examinations as well as your uh, assessments or assignments or any practical elements. If you're on campus, you'll be able to use the labs that we do offer on campus. Uh, so that's what we offer at EIT, hoping people would be interested in this model. We are a really good provider. I'm pretty sure the guests in this uh, webinar, as well as our presenter, will be able to tell you that. Now we have two presenters for the day. Uh, the first is Beri Dikotla. Barry is our recruitment coordinator for Africa in the Middle East. Fun fact, Barry is actually my colleague in the South African office. However, he will go about and introduce himself uh, shortly. And then next, we have a special one, uh, ladies and gentlemen, one of our student ambassadors for the year 2024, we have Pratesh Gandhi. Now, Pratesh is actually studying our master's on campus. He's based in our West Perth campus, and he'll be able to introduce himself later on uh, in the webinar. However, for right now, let me just go back to the slide and introduce you to Barry. Barry, please take over. Thank you so much, guys. Any questions you have, you can just post them in the chat box. I will be happy to answer any questions as well as the post webinar info sessions. Thank you so much. Over to you, Barry. Um, thanks very much, uh, Tepiso. Uh, thanks, everyone, for joining. Um, yeah, thanks for just um, an overview there about EIT and uh, a great introduction. So yeah, as she mentioned, I'm based in the South African office. Uh, so basically I look after our African market and uh, Middle East as well. So just by the, maybe if you can just put on the comments where you watching this session or joining the session from, just to get a feeling of um, where you are based. So, as you mentioned, I'm, I'm not doing this alone today. We've got uh, one of our incredible uh, student ambassador, British, um, who's sort of like uh, going to give you uh, his experience of um, studying his engineering journey at EIT. 
as you may know that um, student ambassadors uh, are playing a very huge role in terms of educational institutions. They are actually the face of institutions. They provide um, uh, current and prospective students with information because um, we know that sometimes as a student, you sort of like want to hear someone who in the same caliber as you. So he's here to share that uh, kind of information with you. And just to hear what he's currently doing, because I know he's sort of like uh, working on a uh, few projects with Coca-Cola, but um, let me not spoil it. He He's here to share that information with you. So the topic for today will be sharing or discussing all things study on campus. As um, maybe some of you, you might be aware that uh, we are building up with, um, building up into our next intake, which is July. And it's, it's very important that you have all the information that you need in order to sort of like make uh, a concise um, uh, decision in terms of uh, studying at EIT or keep starting your engineering career at EIT. So let's look at some of the points why students, um, you know, sort of like choose to study with us. So you'll see that um, we've been voted in terms of uh, number one, in terms of uh, uh, quality education that we, we provide to our students. And that's one of the good points that we pride ourselves about uh, that we deliver the education uh, that is uh, industry uh, relevant, that is needed in the industry and ensuring that when you finish your qualification with us, it's, it's what is needed in the, in the industry. And then once again, you will see that um, uh, quality experience uh, for students uh, at, at number two. Uh, another thing is uh, student support, which is very crucial. And it, I would say it's, it's, it's one of the critical uh, part um, in terms of, um, you know, studying at EIT. We ensuring support. We ensure that we support you from the beginning of your career until you finish your qualification. And I know that it could be daunting to sort of like leaving your country going into another country to study. And we sort of like here to support you from the beginning to the end, just to ensure that everything um, uh, runs smoothly and you're having a pleasant experience of uh, studying at EIT. And another thing is uh, you'll see at number three, it's uh, teaching quality that um, the method that we use in terms of uh, delivering our programs, it could be you study online or you study on campus or, you know, blended learning, you started online and then you decided to go on campus and you would see that um, a student um, really enjoy and um, sort of like uh, pride um, themselves with the teaching method that uh, we deliver here at EIT. Um, let's look at some of uh, what makes us unique as an institution, uh, as, a, as a EIT. Uh, we are student focused and that is the integral part of EIT. So we ensuring that, like I mentioned uh, in the previous slide, that we support you from the beginning of your career until the end. And what we are striving for is that once you've completed your qualification, you can actually get a job and, and implement what you have learned in the, in the workspace and ensuring that what you have learned it's um, it's re it's relevant um, in the industry. Another point is um, engineers Australia accredited. Uh, so some of our qualifications are fully accredited under Engineer Australia. So that gives you sort of like a credibility that our qualifications are recognised uh, by employers. So when you sort of like going to you know eventually in getting a job, it's not going to be a hassle for you. Uh, another point is uh, guaranteed internship on campus, of which is uh, one of the topic that I'll be touching based on in uh, the next slide. And then once again, uh, we have scholarships. We have various uh, scholarship programs for uh, various uh, categories that students can choose from. And again, uh, students, what we, we provide to our students is it's quality education at the same time, affordability. And, and that's what we are aiming for at all the time, that uh, students are able to afford our fees and at the same time, they get quality education. Uh, lifelong learning journey at EIT. So 
we sort of like built you from uh, the beginning of career until you sort of like reach our doctorate level. So you sort of like can start with uh, an advanced diploma built all the way to the doctor of engineering, which is the highest level of qualification that um, we have at EIT. We are committed in uh, women engineering. We, we encourage women to uh, sort of like um, take part in the engineering field. And ultimately we focus on uh, practical outcomes. Like I mentioned that our main purpose is that you are able to implement the skills or what you have obtained in your courses in the, in the workspace. Uh, <clears throat> let's look at our on-campus programs. So for those who are sort of like joining us for the first time, so this is what we are offering at EIT. So you'll see that we have four of our undergraduate programs. So all our bachelor's degrees are only offered at our Perth campus. So you'll see that we're measuring in four fields of engineering, industrial automation, electrical engineering, mechanical, and civil. And then we have the same discipline in our postgrads. However, with our postgrad at our Melbourne campus, we, we only offer postgrad. We don't have uh, our undergraduate programs. And we also have um, pending of uh, these programs, more especially electrical, mechanical, and civil at our Brisbane campus, which um, we sort of like waiting for approval from Australian government so that we can have the operation. But uh, pending that, we hopefully uh, uh, wish. Uh, we hopefully um, uh, uh, thinking that uh, it will be in operation probably somewhere in the next intake of uh, 2024, which is uh, uh, July. All right. Another important part of um, studying at EIT is that um, accreditation. So obviously, all our programs are accredited with. Uh, uh, Texas or, or Australian government. And then we have um, some of our programs that are registered or recognized by Engineer Australia. So you'll see that all four of our bachelor's programs are recognized by Engineer Australia. And then in terms of master's programs, so far we have two master's programs, which is electrical and industrial automation that are fully accredited by Engineer Australia. So we still have uh, masters um, in uh, mechanical and civil that are provisionally uh, 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 created. So in other words, we still have to meet a certain number of graduates until we receive a full accreditation. However, we've already started the, the accreditation process for these two programs. And just from the experience of we had with other programs, we believe that we will get um, a full accreditation when coming to these uh, two programs. And then just to highlight uh, the, the, the different cultures that uh, we have of our students uh, on campus. So you'll see that we have various uh, students um, studying with us from various um, parts of the globe. So when you go there, you will be meeting, like, uh, meeting um, different cultures from all different parts of the globe. And then, um, as I've touched based on the new uh, Brisbane operation, like I've mentioned that pending uh, tax approval, we hopefully be, uh, we're going to be running all uh, three of our master's program. Like I mentioned, mechanical, electrical, civil. So as soon as we receive uh, our full approval and then our Brisbane uh, campus will kickstart. Okay back to our bachelor's programs so we have two intakes per year february and july so obviously now we are building up to our next intake which is july and then in terms of the fees so the total cost fee per year is twenty three thousand five hundred australian dollars so when you are busy with the application process you will be required to pay your first semester up front and then obviously you receive your unconditional letter of offer you receive your COE and then you can go and apply for your study visa. And then the course duration of our master's program is for, for three years. Uh, with the master's programs, the intakes are exactly the same. 
the fees are exactly the same, 23,500 Australian dollars. Um, there will be an additional 250 administration fee Australian dollars that uh, it needs to be paid uh, on your first um, uh, payment of your first semester. And then obviously when you continue, because that it's once off, you don't need to pay it again. The only difference is that our master's runs for, for two years, but in terms of the fees and then the intakes as well, everything runs exactly uh, the same way. And then if you look at our Doctor of Engineering, which is our highest um, level of qualification at EIT, it's July as well, uh, together with February, but you'll see that uh, here the fees have gone slightly lower. So per year, you are expected to pay 22,000 Australian dollars. And then the cost duration of our Doctor of Engineering is um, three years. Right. So. I always share this part that this is the most important part uh, of our students studying at EIT because you study and then at the end of the day, you complete your qualification and you have this on your CV, which is something that nobody can take it from you. So when you study, on e when you study at EIT, part of your journey is to do work integrated learning, which is an internship. So once you've completed your year one, you are eligible to do uh, an internship program. You spend 240 hours. So we are responsible to, par to, par to partner you with uh, various companies to uh, do your internship. And obviously, like I mentioned, that besides gaining Australian experience, this sort of like um, increased chances of you getting a job because already when you complete your qualification, you have like six weeks of uh, working experience and what's really good about this is you don't have to pay anything extra it's just part of your journey on campus and it doesn't like affect the duration of your program so if you are doing your master's uh, for two years it stays like that if you're doing your your bachelor's uh, degree uh, for three years is it stays like that so like i mentioned this is a very good opportunity for you if you are studying on on campus uh, Another question could be, how does the application process work? All right, so we've got two ways of doing this. You can either apply directly uh, using an application form, you complete the form and send it directly to our admissions, or you can apply through our registered additional agents or partners. However, I always encourage students to use registered educational agents. The reason being is that they are professionals. So they've been doing this uh, quite some time. So they know the procedures. They know what's needed. At the same time, it sort of like gives you a peace of mind knowing that there's a, there's a professional handling your applications because uh, doing it for the first time, especially if you're a student, it, it can be daunting because um, there's a lot of information that is required. There's a lot of uh, documentations that you need to attach. So that can sort of like, you know, cause students to make mistakes sometimes. So just to make things easier and just to make sure that you also have a peace of mind, I always encourage students to use our authorized educational agents. So if you are interested in studying with us, I will connect you with one of our agents and then the agent will assist you with the whole application process. I will be putting my my details in the chats just for anyone who's sort of like uh, planning to start the application process and then you can just liaise with me and then we can assist you with the application process. And then um, documents that are required when you are lodging your application, obviously all things academics that will be your qualifications that you've completed, your certificates, your transcripts. And then once again, it is compulsory that each and every student who applies to study with us, they need to have um, English. I think the most popular one is uh, it's IELTS, but there's, there is still a few that are recognized by Australian government that you can use. And then obviously you need to put your resume or your CV, your passport as well. And then our admissions aim to get back to you within two to three working days uh, in order for you to receive conditional letter. Hi, Barry. My yeah. apologies. Uh, I think you lost your connection for a bit there. Could you please go over the bit uh, regarding English proficiency tests? Okay. 
Okay, all right. Thank you. Thanks, Sepi. Yeah, so just going back to the English proficiency test, what I was saying is it's compulsory for each and every single student who applies to study with us to um, write English uh, tests. So like I mentioned that the most popular one is IELTS, but there is still few that are recognized by Australian government that you can make use of. Usually uh, our agents can facilitate and assist you in terms of this. And then obviously in terms of um, scores as well, they do differ. When you do masters, it, it's different when you're going to do the end, when you're going to do a bachelor's degree as well. And then obviously you need to put your CV or resume, you need to put your passport. And then uh, our admissions aim to get back to you within two to three working days so that you receive your conditional letter of offer. And another thing is our applications or all applications are accessed on a, on a different uh, basis, on a case, case, case by case basis. So what, what, what they they look at my application would be different from yours because some people they have uh, work experience in the engineering field um so it will be uh, a different procedure when uh, when coming to assessing applications and then uh, as i've stated that uh, we have variety of uh, scholarships um, as you can see here we've got uh, women in engineering uh, we have industrial automation buzzer uh, scholarships as well uh, Doctor of Engineering, um, we have uh, EIT equity uh, scholarships. So there's a whole lot for everyone because what we do is we're trying to meet each and every single student midway, uh, uh, halfway. So we sort of like having everything for everyone. So if you are interested, obviously to apply for a scholarship, you firstly need to apply for the course because we want to see that you are eligible to enroll for that particular program before you can apply for, for scholarships. And then um, here's some uh, pictures of our on campus, our PATH campus. In, in, in fact, we just moved into a new facility at our PATH campus. So um, as you can see, some pictures there. And then I have another one for our Melbourne campus as well. So you can see a whole lot of our students at our Melbourne campus, which is based in the city, same applies to our PET campus. So in terms of transportations to sort of like connect to the city and the campus, it's quite easier for you to, to sort of like go to the, to the campus. Um, I mentioned the support that uh, the most crit critical part of our student is support. So once you've enrolled into our programs, you will have someone who looks after you. We have a dedicated um, learning support officer. So someone who looks after you, ensuring that uh, you don't miss the deadlines, you, you submit all the, the required documents on time. So if you don't show up or you don't log into your systems, there will be someone who will give you a call to check up on you, how you are doing. So you will have all the support and then in addition to to uh, learning support offices you also get the support from the academics just to make sure that your your curriculum uh, runs smoothly you don't have any any issues and you have a good experience of um, studying at eit and then once you are done you are registered you are ready to go you will receive um what we call a welcome pack so welcome pack it's everything that you need to know before uh, preparing your life in studying in Australia. And then you will have also a, a student ID card, which uh, you could potentially get discounts on transportation on, or when you're buying um, you know, school related stuff. And then we will host a full orientation week. So that's where you're going to get familiarize yourself with the rules and regulations in Australia. Um, Another big question is students tend to ask about accommodations. Unfortunately, we don't have accommodations on campus, but uh, we sort of like provide information as to where to get a convenient place to rent and things like that. And then at the same time, we, we rely on our agents, our agents to assist our students in ensuring that um, 
they get accommodations as well. And the most important thing is it's very important that you find accommodation before you can depart uh, to study in, in, in Perth or, or in Melbourne, because we don't want you to be uh, stranded at the last minute. And then another thing is we know very well that leaving your home country to study to another could be daunting as well. So we're ensuring that uh, we, we give you a personal care, uh, you know, homesickness, things like that. We make sure that we give you all the support that, that you need. And then obviously you're starting to, to, to get a job and uh, achieve your dreams, uh, your goals. So there will be um, a, a job search tip sessions where we sort of like uh, familiarize you, you with uh, pre-interview skills, uh, trainings, how to prepare a resume, things like that. And then at the same time, we have um, workshops like uh, how to manage your time as well, because I know like it can be daunting and we find that you have a lot of things in your, in, in your plate. So we do have uh, these uh, workshops in planning to ensure that you are having a pleasant experience of uh, studying at EIT. Like I mentioned in the in the support that you don't just only get the support from your your learning support officer, but you also get uh, the support from your lecturers or course instructors. That those are the people that you can actually message them. You can send them an email, and if you're having any issues with your curriculums, they are able to um, assist you in terms of that. And uh, I'm just gonna quickly hand things to uh, our brilliant student here, our student ambassador, Pratish. Just, uh, he will be sharing his uh, experience at EIT and, you know, starting his journey, engineering journey at EIT. So, Pratish, you, you can tell me. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Pratish Gandhi. Uh, so, first of all, I'll just uh, give a little bit idea about my background. Uh, I have done Bachelor of Mechanical Engineering back in India. I completed that in 2016. And currently I'm studying Master of Engineering with EIT at the Perth campus. Uh, so after my bachelor's, uh, I completed it in 2016. Uh, I had a job in Dubai uh, as a project engineer, uh, which uh, went from 2016 to 2021, uh, where I specialized in a track, uh, plumbing, and even electrical projects. Uh, I was overseeing the design and uh, execution of complex attract projects and in various sectors such as commercial, residential, and educational as well. Uh, I also have an experience as a project coordinator um, where I ensured the adherence to uh, time, uh, timelines, budgets, and even quality standards. Uh, so I am the student ambassador at uh, EIT. Uh, I chose the master's course because I wanted to learn more about attract and plumbing. Uh, which is aligned to my previous work experience and which is also which uh, I'm being taught at EIT. So currently I'm in my third semester. I'm about to finish that. And uh, the benefit here is the education material, which is on point to the Australian industry standard and all the software which you get to learn. Uh, some of the uh, examples I've given here, that is AutoCAD, uh, Ensys Workbench, and even SolidWorks. So you will get the hands-on experience with this softwares. Uh, my favorite part for studying with uh, EIT would be the course content, which uh, perfectly aligned with my career goals. And uh, it helps to increase my vocabulary in the field, especially in construction. And one of the subjects which uh, I studied in semester one, which is industrial hydraulics and pneumatics, uh, that is one of my favorite subjects because I got to learn uh, in deep about my own field, uh, which is HVAC and plumbing in construction. Uh, the lessons which I learned from uh, EIT is the technical, technical requirements of the projects here in Australia, uh, which puts me forward in the race of uh, getting job. And uh, the project management skill, because we have, with the technical subject, we also have the management subjects, uh, which we are taught here in EIT, and the industry insights. Uh, we normally do industry visits, factory visits, to get to know how the industry works here, uh, what norms they are following, what technical requirements they are for the clients, etc. And as far as the professional career benefits, I would say uh, it definitely enhanced my knowledge in particular the HVAC and plumbing, which in which I want to go ahead. Uh, the understanding of industrial industry standards, 
uh, which is very much required if you want to uh, have a career in Australia. Uh, the preparation for your dream job in a reputed Australian construction company, uh, that is for my field, whatever your field is uh, in engineering, if you're studying at EIT, I'm very sure you'll be able to get whatever is required to get on the field. So my future goals, uh, which are aligned with my career and the uh, master's course, which I'm doing at EIT, is secure a good position in an Australian company and apply my skills and knowledge, which I've gained from EIT, as well as my professional career before, and continuously grow and excel in the field of uh, mechanical engineering. So here is one quote which I've made. Uh, that engineering isn't just a degree, it's a mindset of continuous innovation. Uh, EIT will help you uh, equip with the knowledge and skills to push the boundary and make a real impact in engineering field. So yeah, that's all for me. I'll hand it over back to Barry. All the rest. Uh, thanks very much. Uh, thanks very much, Pratish, uh, for sharing your experience. And hopefully there are students here, uh, potential students here um, looking up to, up to you. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my email as well. So should you want to start your application process or you sort of like are still, uh, you know, gather, gathering information of um, starting with us, you can just email me and then I'll be able to assist you. And then I will also stay around uh, if you have like questions and then we can just go through. Um, I believe uh, we can take it from here, Tepi. Hi, Barry. Thank you so much for your presentation, as well as Pratesh. It is lovely to see students that are on campus and are actually succeeding in what they do. Uh, I do believe that when someone intends to study on campus, they do so in order to better themselves, as well as actually get the jobs that they want to get in the future. It's also quite good that you are able to get industry experience, 240 hours worth of industry experience that we as EIT will find you a placement on. This can be paid or unpaid. However, I think what's paramount to take away from this fact is that this experience will get you a step closer into getting employment in the field. And also you are able to actually network and meet industry professionals who are already doing Doing what you want to do in the future. Uh, this work integrated learning is really is important for our students. Uh, so you would be best to take advantage of it and gain as much practical on the field knowledge regarding this. As Barry has mentioned, that is his email address uh, in the chat box. If you guys have any questions, you're more than welcome to send them to the chat box as well as uh, send them uh, to his email. It is currently in the chat box. Okay, so this are our all our upcoming webinars. We have industrial automation and communication. Uh, in, no, my apologies, introduction to industrial data communication. It's actually uh, one of our courses that we offer. We have a short course, a professional certificate in this field. We also do have an advanced diploma. Uh, we have digital design and fabrication, transforming civil engineering. So these are, um, uh, these courses, uh, not these courses, these webinars are actually available uh, on the EIT uh, website. Just go to upcoming webinars. You are more than welcome to actually uh, register for these. They will be held on this platform as well. So please go over on our website and actually uh, register for these webinars. Okay, for your question and answers, as I've mentioned, please send them on the chat box or you can send Barry an email. Uh, if you'd like to do so, uh, he is more than happy to assist you. Okay, Thanks, so Steve. that's our website, email address, our head office is in Perth, the course schedule is also there as well as our contact details. Well, that's it from me for this portion of our webinar. I hope it was as informative as both Barry, Pratish and myself have intended for it to be as well as the EIT marketing team. Thank you so much guys for joining us. I will leave the chat box open. Barry will also be there to interact if you have any questions. Thank you so much for your time. Have a lovely rest of your day guys. Thanks, Seppi. Um, yeah, so everyone, uh, whoever got um, a question, uh, 
can just put it in the chat and then I will be able to answer that. Thanks very much, Jundi. Thanks for, for joining. Good, good. And um, if I may ask, uh, which uh, program are you intended to to enroll for, uh, Jundi? Oh, great stuff, great stuff. Yes, um, so the next intake is in July. So whenever you are ready to start the application process, you can let us know. Um, my email is there. And then just to <clears throat> answer you, Sean. So yes, once you've completed, um, I believe you, you said you are doing undergraduate. Uh, let's see, I want to study a doctorate after. Okay, so you can only, one of the minimum entry criteria is that you need to have a master's degree or postgraduate in order to do um, our doctor of engineering. That's the entry criteria. Thanks, Sean. Ah, nice, nice one, Aslam. And um, yeah, so let's see how it goes. And uh, great feedback you have shared. And we're looking forward to welcome you at EIT. Please, uh, let me quickly, um, what I'll do is I'll also just uh, check with our admissions. Uh, yeah, I'll take your details and then I'll load them down. And I see you are based in um, in Nigeria. In fact, I'm I'm working on my plans to visit Nigeria and Ghana. Uh, so I'll, I'll I'll send you. You will receive the information as soon as uh, the trip has been confirmed. But yeah, we're working on the trip to to Nigeria. Hi, Paul. Uh, thank you, and uh, thank you for showing interest in our online undergraduate programs. So 
basically what you learn online and on campus it's the same obviously the difference between online and on campus is just like when coming to practicals um so obviously when you're studying online you make use of uh, we have remote labs and simulations that's how we deliver our practicals but the curriculum it's the same what someone is learning on campus it's exactly the same so i'm just going to quickly uh share this with you uh just to give you an overview of how we do our practicals uh online and we, we do have a lot of students that are studying with us online and then you can still you can still start online and then um transition to on campus so i'm just going to quickly put this link and then you can learn more uh, about how we deliver how do we actually deliver our courses online Hi, Gok. Um, are you interested in? So we don't have. A, it's not PhD, but it's a Doctor of Engineering. So um, I, I believe the difference is that PhD focuses more on research, whereas Doctor of Engineering is more like a, you know practical focused uh, kind of a program. But uh, we don't have PhD in civil. We have Doctor of Engineering. Um, I'm just going to quickly put a link here so you can see the difference of. Uh, these two just a sec hi jundi usually it takes three two to three working days for a team to get back to you with the conditional letter of offer However, what you can do is um, you can just email me and then I can quickly follow up on your behalf. But usually it, it does not take long and then um, the team will, will get back to you. Hi, I'm Duduzi. Thank you for showing interest in studying with us. Uh, if I might ask which program are you interested in? Great. Are you interested in doing um, a bachelor's degree or a master's or an, an advanced diploma?
thanks to do so i'm just going to quickly put the link so uh yeah we do have an advanced diploma we've got i think we've had like two intakes upcoming so yeah just read more and then um feel free to message us if you need any any assistance Hi, Emmanuel. Uh, thank you again uh, for showing interest to study with us. So have you have you started the application process already? Okay, uh, let me quickly uh, send you, okay, just a sec, I'll send you this link. It should allow you to proceed with the application. And then um, should you have any issues, please email us directly. Um, then I can be able to assist you. Uh, just a sec. Uh, please just use the link to proceed with the application and then however should you experience um, any issues further I'm just going to quickly uh, put in my email address once again and then just let me know how 
how it went. Hi, George. Uh, so yes, um, the Masters in Civil and Structural, it hasn't received a full um, accreditation as yet. Uh, so once it has like, or we have met a number of graduates, that's when um, the course will receive a full accreditation and then it receive international recognition status. However, if you already uh, have started in the course, the the admissions or your your learning support officer, they should be able to tell you what will be the procedure once you've completed the application and it gets accredited. They will advise you on that. But at this moment, uh, it it is uh, provisionally uh, accredited. So hopefully we will receive accreditation soon, as they just waiting to have uh, a certain number of uh, graduates, and then the course will receive a full accreditation. Do we have any other questions? All right, I guess we no longer any having any further questions and then um, then we might call it a wrap. Uh, thanks everyone. Uh, thanks for joining us and we looking forward to welcome you uh, at EIT. Thanks. Hi, Emmanuel. Uh, so when you apply, they will need your full qualification. The only time that you can provide transcripts is when you apply for credits. But when you apply for the course, they will require you to provide a full qualification.
Thanks, Emmanuel, and all the best in completing your application. Uh, I mean, just to uh, to answer your question, I, I would say all fields of engineering is um, important. They are they are all popular. Obviously, it's just something that it depends on you as to where or what you want to achieve in the future. But all the qualifications that uh, we are offering are important, and they are recognized by employers. So it's just a matter of a personal decision as to where do you want to see yourself in the engineering space. All right. Uh, thanks, everyone. Uh, thanks for joining. Uh, it looks like we're no longer having any questions. So that will be it. Thanks. Cheers. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Goodbye.